Welcome to FORCE Research Advocate Training, or FRAT. I'm Diane Rose, Vice President of Volunteer Programs for FORCE, and I would like to take a few minutes to share with you the importance of hereditary breast, ovarian, and related cancers research advocacy. Before we get started, I'd like to share some basic tips to help make your viewing enjoyable. If you place your cursor at the bottom of the screen near the Volunteer Force Academy logo, this image will pop up and will enable you to pause, rewind, fast forward, or play. You can also change the volume or make the screen larger by clicking here. So if you need to take a break or go back over a section, feel free to use this tool to do so. In the past, the only role for patients in research was as a subject to be studied. Due to the efforts of patients and other champions, there is an ever-growing awareness that including patients in the development of research studies will provide better outcomes. Some examples include patient input into study design, which can help researchers design studies that patients are more likely to participate in. Patient insights into things like quality of life and side effects can help guide the research process and make sure that the results take into account individual patient preferences. The FRAT training program is designed as a web-based course for members of the high-risk community and other stakeholders to prepare them to represent the hereditary cancer community in clinical research. People affected by hereditary cancer are significant stakeholders in cancer research and carry a disproportionate cancer burden. Patient input in cancer research is needed to guide direction, relevance, recruitment, and protections, and make sure that the high-risk community's needs are met. One thing we have heard over and over since FORCE was founded was that hereditary cancers only make up a very small fraction of the entire cancer community. This perspective has been used to dismiss the importance of hereditary cancer research. Here are some examples of the opportunities and placements we have had made matching advocates to research. So how will FORCE help you as a FRAT participant? We will provide training to prepare you to serve a role in research advocacy and help you gain an understanding of how you can be effective in providing input to guide the research process. We will connect you with research advocacy opportunities and we will provide resources to aid you in preparing for and securing advocate positions such as assistance with applications, biosketch, letters of cooperation, and we will follow up with you after the activity. We will also stay in touch with you through a quarterly FRAT newsletter, which includes information about current placement opportunities, scholarship opportunities to national conferences, and educational opportunities. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about how you can make a difference for the future of the hereditary cancer community. Each of your efforts is truly making a difference.